Hey, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sandeep Nath, and you're on the Renewalism Show. The word renewalism is something new in the vocabulary of the world, and I'm so happy that you're watching the very first episode of this concept of renewal. The renewal concept is about renewing ourselves, and I'm going to just run a scroller at the bottom of the screen so that we are on the same page and you can read it as well if you like to. Renewalism is a concept which could far surpass a concept as big as veganism because it's about our habits, not in respect to animals, but in respect to our own consciousness. We can renew our consciousness at our own level, at the level of our interactions with others and with the planet, and at the level of the systems that we operate in, which have undergone major changes in the, uh, the last few years with the advent of technology and over the last 10,000 years with agriculture coming in and you know man is a species which is 130,000 years old but in just 10,000 years we've changed a lot of the classic paradigms based on which our consciousness was built. Alongside me you're seeing the book Renewal and this book is due for launch this week. It's uh, a book which was actually channeled to me there is uh, an energy form called Guru Pranachandra who kind of came into my mind stream and I was compelled to write things which unfolded in the form of a story. And that story is captured uh, through a family, the Kapoor family in Delhi, which is uh, interacting with this guru at a lecture. I'm not going to speak a lot more about that because I have more exciting things to discuss with you today. You know, what I have with me is uh, a lady by name Minu Agarwal, and she is like many of you, a corporate executive doing extremely well at a multinational company, a homemaker with kids, husband, everybody packed at home these days in the lockdown. With all those stresses and all those uh, needs for knowing how we can renew our lives and our uh, thinking so that we live without stress, we live in greater harmony. So that said, let me invite uh, Minu on the sets with us. And uh, here we are. Hey, Sandeep. Thank you for inviting Hi, me. Hi, Minu. Good to see you Hi, here. Sandeep. I can, yeah, yeah. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for the honor. I'm actually yeah. super excited. Wonderful. I'm super excited to have you here and I'm super excited to have the first episode of the Renewalism show through which we are going to talk about the habits that this Guru Pranachandra uh, is proffering to the world, to each one of us. And every day as we go on at 9 p.m. on the same page, keep coming back we, because we're going to be discussing one habit which could have uh, pros and cons and how can I do that and why that and you know how difficult it is to change a habit and all that sort of stuff. So today we're going to discuss the first habit which is and I'm going to read it for you smile inside and stretch while you lay in bed. Now <laughs> we're talking about renewing ourselves. Yes. So Minu I'm going to ask you that if somebody says that you smile inside and stretch while you lay in bed, does it sound too taxing to you? Uh, okay, now um, let me take the opportunity to say something. Okay, so when you gave me this opportunity to be a first speaker, I was like thrilled. Yeah, and uh, you know my corporate life post lockdown habituated me remote work as a norm. Yeah, yet I was looking forward to attend to this call because this topic is very important and. Uh, you know, these official virtual calls, they're long, they're dry, and sometimes they're too boring. Okay? So I was looking forward to having this conversation with you uh, because this topic is different and this topic relates to all of us. Yeah. That's Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining this call. And I know this is a Monday evening, COVID crisis all around, phase five lockdown, which is depressing and gloomy. And Sandeep and I have deep gratitude for your engagement. Okay. So, uh, to talk about in this situation, we are unable to control our external factors, okay, since we all are stuck in our houses. But the best we can do is to control our internalities and commend Sandeep for his timely book, Renewal. 
Yeah, I'm sure all the listeners will agree with me on this. Okay. Uh, Absolutely. Since this book is about yeah. internal happiness, yeah. Thank you, Sandeep. I have always believed that we need discipline and habits. Okay, and habits and discipline they are interrelated. Okay, they are complementary. So a disciplined life leads us to success. Okay, and Sandeep, yeah. your book, in my view, is based on habits, energy, and vibration. Okay, so uh, just to tell you that Sandeep has organized his book very well. Okay, he has put complex topic in a very very simple format. This book is all about thirty habits arranged in three groups: self renewal, symbiotic re uh, renewal, and systematic renewal. And I'm sure Sandeep will talk about more on that. Uh, Absolutely. So Next according so to uh, me. I, I, I really want our viewers to know that this is not really about reviewing the book, which is so kind of you, but about answering their questions. So viewers, I have a question from Frank and I put that up. If you have questions, please type them in because we'd love to take this interactively yes. and we'd love to have uh, both of us pulling our heads together to give you solutions. So like, for instance, Frank, uh, uh, he's talking about, you know, uh, is whether it's unusual to embrace change in an era of uh, uncertainty. So uh, tell tell us about this, Mino. <clears throat> when times are uncertain, especially like they have been, and I dare say they will continue to be, uh, are we are we more prone to changing? Have you found that? Have you experienced more changes uh, of your volition, not forced upon you, to be able to live a better life during these times? Uh, to tell you, Sandeep, yes, definitely. I would. Uh, I have learned so many things in this time. Yeah, I have formed different habits. Yeah, so uh, for me, this time is good. There are a lot of benefits. You know, I have picked them from from this uh, uh, time, and there's small, small habits. You know, which I inculcated yeah. in me and in my family also. This wasn't possible. You know, if we would not have gone gone through this time. So uh, this time is uh, good, yeah, very good. So uh, you know, uh, to tell you this, uh, this this is basically based on the importance of habits and rituals. Okay, so particularly the initial minutes as we wake up. So yeah. the first habit which I which I formed or inculcate is a uh, making your own bed. Okay, so this habit I have given it to my children. Okay, great. Just, just get up and make up your own bed. Yeah. Yeah. So, and this is a great habit, you know, the one who makes up his or her own bed, it's a little thing, but it tells you or teaches you so much. True. Yeah. True. In fact, later in the book, we talk about the cluttering of space and uh, how uh, what you're doing is getting kids into the habits of tidying up their space, which then tidies up their minds, which tidies up their energy. And that's uh, fantastic. We we have uh, Kena who's saying that she never realized habits were a legacy. Well, you know, as you progress with your life, you not only leave behind your habits with your children and with people you influence who see you and, uh, you know, take up those behaviors. You also carry those habits energetically into the next life because your habit is like uh, a karma. It's your action. And that karmic imprint goes along. So habits are a legacy for your own next lives as well, as we would uh, tend to believe in uh, Hindu and uh, Buddhist uh, contexts. And uh, that brings me to the aspect of energy, which Minu was touching upon, that we are these energy bodies because we form from this uh, mind stream of energy that uh, carries on life to life. And this energy body is you know, we, we have discovered the nadis and the meridians where these uh, these energies flow, very subtle energies flow. Now, when you wake up in the morning and you move the tips of your fingers and toes, you the, these tips of fingers and toes are connected to your major organs. So you actually give a little pump to those organs. How cool is that? Now, you know, if that's something that you started doing, and uh, did it? F would it be something first of all that you could do between the time you wake up and you know you're lazing about in bed, and the alarm rings, for instance, 
or the snooze rings. Okay, okay. So Sandeep, uh, I don't need alarm clock to get up because my body is my alarm clock. Oh, great. It gives me signals and then I have to get up. Yeah, exactly. Because my body is aligned to my schedule. Okay. And basically, this is the process. Uh, we have to have a discipline of how to leverage it because it is within our grasp. We just have to be disciplined and consistent. Mm -hmm. So after I wake up, I'll tell you my schedule, how I wake up. I, after I wake up, I sit calmly and I focus on my breath. Okay, Deep inhalation and deep exhalation. Okay, During this time, I, I'm very focused and I'm mindful to the present moment. Fantastic. And then I do my, yeah. and then I do my affirmations and my gratitude to the universe because that is the most important thing I think for everybody. Okay. Without this, nothing moves. Yeah. And then, of course, I did, I did making up my bed. And then I go to my terrace and I say thank you to my trees and my plants and everybody. And definitely, wow. while I'm wow. on the bed, I, I smile and I say thank you to all my organs. Because my body is everything. And you know it's it's a perfectly it's it's working perfectly. So I have to be thankful to all my organs. Okay, and and as you know that you know we all are energy field is around us. Okay, we all yeah. are always surrounded by energy. We just have to feel it. So like our feelings, our vibrations, or emotions, this is all energy. Okay, like I'll give you an example. So I have my puppy Stella. While I'm working in the midnight, sometimes I see somebody is staring at me intentionally. And when I look at her, she is the one. So it's like energy, right? Yeah. It matches. Or it okay. happened that, you know, uh, sometimes it happened that we don't like it, the person and we get the negative energy. Okay. So the okay. energy is drained, drained. So this is all one of the energy. Or sometimes we get energized by a yoga session or a good massage maybe yeah so this is all kind of energies yeah we give and take true true fantastic so uh, viewers if you also have some sort of a routine which you have got early morning like Minu has i uh, love to read about that in the comments do write your routines uh, you may be watching this video long after the live recording but uh, we're going to keep coming back to this because the, the concept of renewal, the concept of self-renewal renewal starts with you, with the way that you, like Minu said, discipline yourself and create those habits from the morning. And the attempt through the book renewal is to take you through habits which are in alignment with what you're already doing. Uh, Minu is already doing things which are serving her, you know, even going to the plants and all that, that's getting into that symbiotic renewal. Uh, but there are a lot of us I know who just get up in the morning and mindlessly head off to, to smoke, for God's sake. Now, you know, you could replace that habit. And not only will it help with the, a negative habit taking uh, less control of you, it will also help building that energetic self right from the start of your day. So do write on whether they are uh, habits uh, that are two points. Or not. Two points. I would like to emphasize on two points. Uh, yeah. I would like to emphasize on two points. Okay, the moment I wake up, I do not touch or look at my mobile because you know that the, the blue screen, yeah, it is really damaging. Yeah, yeah. You're damaging your your uh, your mind cells. So it is, and the and the most important thing I do, I just rub my palm. Okay, because when you rub your palm, it gives you very positive energy. Okay, so rub your palm and. Put it on your face. Yeah, correct. So you feel relaxed. Yeah, exactly. So this is uh, a great habit. Fantastic. There's one more point in this first habit, which is also in that first five minutes of your day, which is about smiling inside. You know, just like we, uh, and especially you in the corporate corridors, uh, you know, we kind of walk about and say, hi, hello, good morning, everybody, before we reach our desk. Now, what Guru Pranachandra urges us to do is say hi, hello to our organs because they've been serving us and they're like our colleagues right inside. So if we just acknowledge them a little, he says it's like uh, when you acknowledge a dog, uh, it wags its tail. 
So you must get your heart wagging its tail. You must get your stomach wagging its tail. What do you think about it? Uh, okay. So sometimes it happens that you're thinking something, something good, and you're smiling. Okay, and you're just walking by. You're smiling, and you don't even realize the other person is also giving you a smile back, because the kind of energy you are exchanging with them, right? And during this COVID, if we all realize that we all were inside of the houses, but the one who was working our uh, sweepers, right? I mean, they used to come in, they used to clean your uh, your lanes and all. So we all have to be grateful to them. You, we all have to give our positive energy to these guys. True, yeah. true. So, the so delivery smile and guys. yeah, always give your positive energy and good smile. So how about doing that to your organs? What do you think about that? So when you give smile to your organs, right? You feel healthy. You feel happy, and your organs are also very happy all the time. You know, you feel lot. You feel motivated. You feel inspired, and you relaxed. So all the time, whenever I get time, I, 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 you know, I talk to my organs. Yes. You do. Wow. Yes, because I'm into some kind of uh, guided meditations. Uh, wow. During the or uh, like three times, I do my meditation during the day. Yeah, 30 minutes, 30 wow. minutes, 30 minutes. So during that time, I talk to my organs. You you are such a right person to be talking about this first habit today. And I'm so, so pleased that you brought these points out, which are complementary to just what the book says, but something that the audience can align with, because there are things that uh, all of us know commonsensically, but we've never got it put down in a format which uh, comes from ancient wisdom. That's where common sense comes from, you know, 130,000 years. We've got it all inside us. But now we have a pattern to follow to just get the results that you've started getting with your uh, rubbing or whatever uh, is suggested in the book. And with uh, the way you're talking about uh, the organs smiling back at you, feeling happy. 99% of the world, I would imagine, has not experienced their organs feeling happy. And uh, you are so blessed, Tamino. And I feel yeah. so blessed that you're on this show to share that with Thanks. us. Thank you, Sandeep. Fantastic. <clears throat> Fantastic. If you have any last words, then we'll take them in. And um, thank our viewers for uh, hanging in. And I request you to be back tomorrow at 9. We have no with problem. us tomorrow. Oh, we have some more comments here. Uh, good evening. Yeah, there we have. Uh, well, we have tomorrow's guest. I was just about to bring up your name and I saw the comment here because here's somebody whose day and normal circumstances starts with physical activity. So tomorrow we're going to talk to you about more stuff on the symbiotic renewal, uh, Nirja, and look forward to have you there. And uh, Ashutosh. Silent meditation, talking to organs. Wow. I'm glad you got something out of it. I request all our guests today who see this video later to write in their comments about what they do in the mornings and uh, look forward to picking up renewal this week. It's going to be launched on Amazon later this week and see how you uh, align with that. So, uh, Minu, any last words? Uh, so, my last advice or uh... Take one glass, okay? Put what the water. I just, I just yes. have another comment here. And since you are the mother of teenagers, here's a uh, question from a teenager. How can I influence my family to implement better habits? Oh, yes. Let's of course. You know, I, have a, I have a teenager daughter who's 16 years old, okay? And, and you know all these teenagers nowadays. Uh, but yes, the first habit I have given her, she, ha she gets up in the morning. Okay, she was resistance, but I. But she gets up in the morning, she makes her own bed, and she now she does slight affirmations and meditation for ten minutes. Yeah, and she she feels blessed now. Believe me, she feels happy because these children have a lot of pressure. Okay, peer pressure, study pressure, the COVID pressure. So uh, so talk to them, talk to them nicely, be their friend. Yeah, be their friend and try to integrate these habits in them. Perfect. And, and Adelia, from my side, what I would say is that you keep watching the episode here because it's all about forming the habits that help you renew. And uh, you're going to get more and more ideas each passing day. 
Well, with that, thank you so much, everybody. And uh, thanks a lot, Minu. And look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Take care. Yeah. Have a good night. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.